Today we're going to have a look at surface area and volume. Let's start by having a look at the surface area of a cube. Now remember a cube is a solid where every one of the faces is a square. So all the faces are exactly the same. If we want to look at surface area, we're asking ourselves what's the total area of the whole solid. In other words, if we were to paint this whole cube, what area, the whole outside of the cube, what area would we need to paint? And you can see that in order to figure that out, we've got to work out the area of each and every one of the faces of that cube and add them all together. Now cubes are nice and easy because every single face is just a square and they're all exactly the same. So let's work out the area of one of these square faces. So if this cube here we've got the it's got a side length of three centimeters then the area of the square face is just going to be three times three. And then if we actually want the total surface area, what we've got to do is figure out how many of these faces there are. But that's very easy because it's a cube. And you know a cube, right? The, the simplest cube you know of are dice. How many sides do dice have? You know they've got six sides. So six faces, right? So what you've got is you've got six faces. And each of them in this case have that area of 9, 3 times 3, and so what you've got is that you've got the total surface area is 6 multiplied by 9, which is 54, and we're talking centimeters squared. Remember when it's area, it has to be squared. So now if I asked you what's the um, surface area of this little dice, if the dice has got a side length, each little side is 5 millimeters, what would it be? Pause the video now and do this for yourself. Okay, so did you get it quite airy, easily? Your surface area, there again, six of those faces, and each face has got an area of five times five, and so our answer is six times 25, which is going to be 150, and in this case, it's millimeters squared. Okay, we want to look at volume now. Volume just tells us how much space the object, the solid, occupies. And one way we can talk about, say, for example, how much space this cube occupies is to figure out how many of these little cubes go into making up the big cube, where each of these little cubes has a side length just of one centimeter. So how many of them go into making up the big cube? Well, that's actually easy enough to work out because each of the lengths each of these sides, right, is three centimeters. So you can see you've got one, two, three layers, right? So one, two, three layers. How many little blocks are there in each layer? Well, have a look at this top layer here. In this top layer, you can see you've got one, two, three rows of three. In other words, you've got three rows of three. You've got nine blocks. And this will happen for every one of the layers. So you've got three layers, each of which have got three lots of three. And so in total, you've got three lots of three lots of three, which is 27. And it's centimeters cubed because it is volume. So this actually is a, for a cube, very easy formula. No matter what your side length is, your volume. So if your side length is S, you just take S times S times S to get you your volume. If we move on to the rectangular prism now, we're first again going to look at surface area. So here again, surface area, we're just wanting to say, what is the total area of this little rectangular prism, this box of some matches? We need to work out, if we were to paint the whole thing, how much area would we be painting? So really would we look at what are what do all the sides look like? And hopefully you can see you've got a front and a back, you've got two sides and you've got a top and a bottom. And what's different with the rectangular prism to the cube, in a cube all the faces were the same. In a rectangular prism they're not. 
And hopefully that's quite obvious to you. In the rectangular prism, what you have is you've got the front and the back. They're the same as each other. But the top and the bottom, they're the same as each other, but they're not the same as the front and the back. And the sides, they're the same as each other, but they're not the same as the front and the back. So really what you've got is you've got to work out the front area and then double it, the top area and double it, and the side area and double it, and then add it all together. So if we take this rectangular prism here and we want to work out its surface area, we're going to go through that process. So let's have a look at the front. So this front here, it's three centimeters this way and five centimeters that way. So the front area is three times five, which is 15 centimeters squared. And then the top area, it's two by three. So it's two times three, which is six centimeters squared. And then your side area, it's five by two. So it is two times five, which is 10 centimeters squared. How do we work out the total surface area? Well, as we saw with the matchbox, what we've got is the front and the back are the same. So we've got to do two lots of the 15. And the top and the bottom are the same. So we've got to do two lots of six. And the sides are the same. So we've got to do two lots of 10. So this is going to be 30 plus 12, which is 42, plus 20, which is 62. So our total surface area is 62 centimeters squared. And if we look at the volume of a rectangular prism, we're going to think about it in the same way as we did for the cube. We're going to say, how many of these little blocks are there in the rectangular prism? And we're going to look at it in this layer, right? This layer has a length of three and a breadth of two. So how many little blocks are in this layer? Well, there are three lots of two, right? So in that layer, there are six blocks. But how many layers are there? Well, this is five centimeters. There's one, two, three, four, five layers. So there are five layers. Each of them have got six blocks in it. So five times six gives you 30 centimeters cubed. And we can actually get a little formula out of this that helps us to work out the volume in any and every case for a rectangular prism. If it's got a length of L and a breadth of B, then the number of blocks in the layer will be length times breadth. And the number of layers will be the height. So it's length times breadth times height gives us your volume of a rectangular prism.